With just a single image, I created an entire animation with perfect character consistency. Whoa, what's all this? Yeah, what's all this, Amanda? So this is all my discoveries Whoa. from all my adventures. This golden beetle is my favorite, and I'll tell you exactly how I found it. So it all started in the desert. I planned to explore this huge pyramid. I didn't know what I'd find, and I kept getting lost. There were even traps all over the place. Eventually, I found this hidden room with a big coffin and this golden beetle laying on top of it. But the beetle came with a curse, and it was after me. I managed to escape, but it was so close. That's a cool story, Amanda, but what about that giant tooth? Yeah, I want to hear about the tooth. Oh, this thing? Well, I pulled it out of a live T-Rex. Everything you just watched, from the animations, the sound effects, even the narration was completely done using AI. But that might not be surprising news to you. With AI, the sky's the limit. You can create anything, but the one thing AI still struggles with is character consistency. Whenever you generate a scene, you're basically rolling a dice. Your character might have a certain hairstyle in one scene, but in the next, that might change completely. But I found a way to maintain perfect character consistency across every generation. So in this video, I will break down exactly how I made that AI animation. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to generate high quality animations all on your own. I'll leave all the tools I used in the description below, including all my prompts and everything you need. We will begin with creating our character. The platform we will be using is called OpenArt. So head over to OpenArt's homepage and click on Image. I'll select Nano Banana as the model. And the reason for that is because Nano Banana is an image model that has the best character consistency. So what I have in mind is a cute character and I want it to be Pixar inspired. So this is my prompt. If you want the full prompt, it's all in the description. But basically, she has curly brown hair. She has a friendly, whimsical vibe and it's Pixar styled. So after generating a few times, I really like this character here. So this one little tip I always do to have perfect character consistency. AI performs best where there is as little noise as possible. If you look at the image right now, she is in a forest and the AI will detect the forest, the colors, the composition, everything. We wanna trim all these details out. So what I'm gonna do is generate a new image with a plain white background. I'll bring our character back into Nano Banana and drag her into the Omni Reference section. And now I'll prompt, have her look directly at the frame, unpose her, the background is white. And now we have this image and it's very important that you nail this down because this image will be used as the core reference for all generations. Now that we have our character, the next step is to build a storyline. You can use chat GPT to help with ideation, but for this story, I just use my imagination. I wanted a girl who loves exploring and that was my core idea. So let's start with actually generating the scenes. So this is the scene we will be recreating. The method we'll be using is image to video because that's what nails down character consistency. And that's where our base image we created just now comes into play. Make sure Nano Banana is selected and place the base image into the Omni reference. Now, I will generate the first frame for that scene by using this prompt. The results came out amazing. The character looks exactly the same as our core image. Now let's bring this image to life. Head over to the video section and use any video model you like. For this example, I will use Kling 2.5, as I find that it's amazing for video animations. The prompt I used here is just her presenting the beetle to her friends. This scene is already amazing, but I'll make it even better by adding sound effects and a voiceover. To do that, we will be using Eleven Labs as it is the best platform to generate audio. So head over to Eleven Labs and click on Voices. There are thousands of voices you can choose from. For me, I will use this voice, Amanda Beans. Hi, I'm Amanda Beans. I'm just your average American woman next door. To use the voice, click on text to speech and write anything you have in mind. Once you are happy with the voice, you can download it and put them together as narration or lip sync the character. I will go over how you can lip sync your character in open art. I have this audio I generated from Eleven Labs. And this, I pulled straight out from the mouth of a T-Rex and the plan is to add it as a lip sync into this scene. So in order to do that, we go back to open art and there is an option to lip sync your video. Drag your image here along with your voice line. This tool isn't perfect, but it gets the job done. Here's the result. And this, I pulled straight out from the mouth of a T-Rex. Now the rest of the scene is pretty similar. Get an idea, 
generate the first frame, animate them using Kling 2.5 and then provide voice lines or sound effects from Eleven Labs. If you want to see my whole animation workflow, the link is down in the description, but I will still teach you a few more ways you can utilize Nano Banana. If you want to give your character a specific outfit. For example, I found this really cool template and I want my character to wear it for an adventure. This is how you do it while incorporating them into Pixar style. Put in both the base image and outfit template into the Omni feature and mention what type of clothing the character is wearing in the prompt. So after generating a few times, the generation came out exactly how I wanted it. Now to turn this into a video. Go to videos and type in the prompt. The full prompt is in the description, but I just described the character and described the camera movement I wanted. Here's the result. Another cool scene I wanna to showcase to you guys is this. The image was generated using the same techniques I showed you. The image prompt is something simple, where the girl is in the pyramid with an ax hanging upside down from the ceiling, and she looks nervous. Here's the result. With this image, I just mentioned the motion of the ax swinging left and right on a chain, and the final result came out like this. Now it's time to put everything together. I use Premiere Pro for all my editing, but you can use any editing software you like. You can leave it like this, but I wanted to do something extra. So I added simple transitions like fade ins and fade outs. And I also added some sound effects, which were all generated through Eleven Labs. And here's the final result. Whoa, what's all this? Yeah, what's all this, Amanda? So this is all my discoveries Whoa. from all my adventures. This golden beetle is my favorite, and I'll tell you exactly how I found it. So it all started in the desert. I planned to explore this huge pyramid. I didn't know what I'd find, and I kept getting lost. They were even traps all over the place. Eventually, I found this hidden room with a big coffin and this golden beetle laying on top of it. But the beetle came with a curse, and it was after me. I managed to escape, but it was so close. That's a cool story, Amanda, but what about that giant tooth? Yeah, I want to hear about the tooth. Oh, this thing? Well, I pulled it out of a live T-Rex. So this is how I generated the entire animation from character design to animating the scenes, all using OpenArt. This platform has all the image and video models available all in one place, and this is how I keep my generation consistent and as efficient as possible. I highly recommend you to check it out for yourself. The link for OpenArt will be down in the description.